There were a lot of prophecies given, not only in the Hebrew scriptures of the Bible, but in many other religious forms, uh, you know, Hindu and Buddhist and other types of forms, all around the world given about the coming of a Messiah. All of these prophecies were true. There was the coming of a Messiah, but, but the Messiah had to recognise the role and the Messiah had to go through a process with God to discover how to become at one with God. And the Messiah had to realise that through a process that, that, that God had already previously designed. So, that, so it wasn't anything that Messiah was discovering aside from discovering something about God. Mm -hmm. It wasn't something the Messiah came up with on his own back. It was something that God influenced through this process. Now, that being the case, there are many things in the Bible that are prophecies of, that you could call messianic in nature. In other words, they refer to the coming of myself. There are other prophecies that refer to the coming of the Messiah as a warrior king. And those were not true. And to be frank, will never be true because the man who was the Messiah didn't want to be a warrior king. <laughs> and so they can never come true. And it's interesting when you think about it, that many of the religious people of the first century wanted the Messiah to be a king and a warrior. And it's interesting that many Christians today want the Messiah coming again to be a king and a warrior. And it's interesting, I find, that in 2000 years, the general desire of many of the people who believe such things hasn't changed, mm -hmm. even though I proved in the first century that I did not want to be a king or a warrior. Mm -hmm. So I doubt whether my position on that is going to change. So at some point, hopefully this will. Mm. But, the, but we need to understand that there were many prophecies given from the spirit world to earth about the coming of a person who would introduce people to the process of how to become at one with God. Mm. Mm. Okay. And that has been the case in every planet, actually, that has human habitation. Mm. That, there, that there are messiahs. There are messiahs in every one of those planets, that, uh, and every one of those planets had a person who embraced that role, just a similar way to the way I've embraced that role, and, uh, and they became the first person on that planet to become at one with God, and they demonstrated through their condition what at one with God actually meant. So basically, to recap that last question, there were prophecies in the Old Testament that foretold you coming as a messiah in the first century. Mm -hmm. And how that would occur. And how that would occur. And mm -hmm. Some were accurate, some were not. Mm -hmm. But essentially you are the messiah f for Earth. <laughs> um, yes. yes. As is the case now. As is the case, well, the Messiah is the first person to become at one with God. That's the person who finishes up teaching the other people how to become mm -hmm. at one with God. Just so like there's... just like the very first person who discovered something else on the planet is always going to be the very first person who discovered that particular thing. So there's only ever one? There's only ever the first, mm -hmm. um, but there's not only ever one. You know, there are very, very many people who have now become Christ, who have now become people who are at one with God. There are many millions of those. Uh, and, and in fact, every single person on this planet has the ability to become Christ or become Christed. So, you know, I'm not unique. I'm just the first one. Mm -hmm. That's all. It's like, it's like the first person who ever, flew, who ever made or built and flew a plane. Uh, they are always going to be the first one on this planet. Mm -hmm. but, but there's now millions of them who do that. Mm -hmm. you know, so we all now enjoy what they discovered. We, and we don't go, oh, they're saying they're better than us. We, we go instead, we go, oh, isn't it wonderful that they created that particular thing that we can now use? Yeah. So I'm not saying to anybody that I'm better than them. I'm just saying, isn't it wonderful that somebody came along who discovered something that we can all use? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs>